Aquarius, welcome to your Just In Time Tarot reading. If you're watching this Aquarius, trust it, there's a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back. And if you've just arrived here, welcome Aquarius. My name is Bronya. I am an intuitive tarot reader. Now you may have just seen this pop up in your feed and you've clicked on it and you think, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. Well, just know that sometimes the whole message will really resonate like a personal reading. And other times it might be just that one piece or maybe, you know, you had a question on your heart and the reading uh, answers that for you okay so I frame up with a couple of oracle cards I'll then hit up the full tarot deck and I have pulled adjustments uh, required so this for me gives me justice vibes uh, from this oracle deck and that is the energy where there needs to be a shift a decision or some kind of change to bring things into balance harmony or to get to a result or outcome that you're hoping for so it just feels like if you carry on on the same you know trajectory doing the same things then you will get similar results as to now and I just feel that you know you are wanting some kind of change or some kind of difference okay dream gate oracle I have got holy renewal rebirth creation Cycles of healing initiation. So we are being told here that there is a, a rebirth. There is a renewal or a reinvention here that needs to happen, okay? That we need to cross a threshold into the new. And cycles of healing, like maybe there is something to acknowledge here, you know, healing the past or forgiveness or acceptance, you know, for where things are. But now it's time to make the adjustments and enter into, you know, the rebirth. And that is going to initiate you into the next level of where you need to be to achieve the outcome all right let's keep going I am working with the ethereal alchemist tarot I will link this one down below for you it is a gorgeous deck it is my latest fave so you know what you might want to add it to your collection too and I am pulling for you the Knight of Cups. Well, here we go. Look, the Knight of Cups for me is a messenger of opportunity. Now, this could be the opportunity that allows you to make that adjustment or pivot. It's often a proposal, an invitation, or some kind of opportunity to receive the Ace of Cups, right? The Knight of Cups links to the emotional new beginning. And I just feel here that this person could have the advice, the help, or the solution for you. So just be very mindful of who is coming your way. Now, sometimes messengers come into our life to shift our path in some way. Maybe this is the key to the adjustment. Maybe this person holds the key to the rebirth. Uh, it's usually a Pisces energy for me. And the Ten of Pentacles is here. And you're being told that whatever this person can offer you, Aquarius, you know, it's it's long-term success here. Like the Ten of Pentacles is security, stability, abundance, happiness, right? So this Knight of Cups, you know, for some of you, yes, it could be an opportunity, something to do with romance. But I'm feeling more, you know, like home or earnings here with this particular reading, right? That's maybe the adjustments that you're wanting. You're wanting to know that you're heading for that long-term sustainable future. Yeah, and... Six of Swords, you've been told that you need to transition, you know, there is a transition phase here, or that you're in transition to the new. So the Six of Swords is usually, for me, leaving something behind, right, that has caused you high emotions, and setting sail to, let's say, distant shores, new shores, somewhere new, somewhere unknown, right, that's the adjustment that's required. So this could be associated with a relocation for some of you, like an actual you know, moving across town, across states, uh, you know, across countries for some of you. Or it could be that you're needing to make a career transition. I'm feeling more those themes or potentially move on from maybe a home or an investment, that type of thing. So you're being told, you know, there's cycles of healing here, acknowledging the lessons, you know, of the past. I mean, we see two lots of three of swords in this card. So maybe there's been a couple of really sort of hard blocks in this situation. But this is third time lucky to actually, you know, achieve a, a quantum leap towards that ten of pentacles. Yeah, here comes the hierophant. Number five in the Major Arcana, Taurus Energy. And it's always a critical turning point moment for me. 
it's a spiritual teacher and the hierophant has come to you and saying okay well look let's cut our losses you know and let's make that transition towards the new for me generally there is like a, a higher commitment or contract kind of theme with the hierophant it talks about the system the structure you know the authority so you might have had to liaise negotiate with authorities or you know navigate contracts whether you're ending them or initiating them as part of this transition but the Hierophant also says, look, just make sure that you're making your decisions on a values-based system, you know, what is important to you. And if you do that, then you can't really, you know, go too wrong. A Ten of Swords, yeah, but I do feel that you are swapping a Ten of Swords for a Ten of Pentacles. So it seems that maybe you're needing to remove yourself from a situation. And like I said, there could be a legality here, there could be a contract. And, um, you know, that's not necessarily the easiest thing to, to navigate, but this, this actually initiates you into the rebirth, into the healing, <clears throat> into that long-term success. So what we have here is a big adjustment required that is worth it because it's going to give you a sense of freedom and liberation and help you step through to, you know, a much more positive time, but also stable, secure future. King of Cups is here. We will leave it on this energy. That is a Scorpio energy. And this could be uh, the person, the authority that you're needing to, to work with here. Okay. Again, we've got the water sign energy. There might be a significant water sign person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus that has an offer for you, an opportunity of help. The King of Cups is asking you to really step up in maturity and make an emotionally intelligent decision here. If you make this decision, it could completely turn things around here. Third time lucky, this is your holy renewal and the universe is giving you that green light to move forward. Expect a messenger of opportunity. If they don't show up, just make sure that you are reaching out and that you are seeking to create that pathway for the universe to bring them in for you. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I love this reading for you. If you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, first a link down below will pop you over to my website. Uh, I will uh, link my Instagram and TikTok accounts below. I'm really active and interactive over there with different daily insights. And also there are my Learn Tarot resources. There's a free quick guide down there if you'd like to get started reading the cards. And I have two paid courses, an introduction course and my deep dive where I teach a full foundation and my signature reading process. I am sending you all the love and magic queries. Do take care. Bye for now.